Oh, I look like a little kid. What's going on, everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is... I just felt Tay out of my, my shoulders. My name is Tay, and if you have not yet subscribed, baby girl, I know boys are watching, baby boy. Baby girl, baby boy, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you really, almost said they say, doing? Subscribe to my channel and be a part of my lovely, fantabulous, astronomically lit, lit family, honey. Happy January 1st. Happy New Year. Happy 2021. If this video does make it on YouTube, it is 2021. So last year, I posted a video on my channel about, um, what was it? Hold on, let me, let me. Let me get it right. What I hate about working in retail, customer service holiday season, working in a de department store. And on my Instagram, people really loved it. Like people was really showing me love, you know, more than 10 views is love. And they told me to do a part two. So I'm back at it again with a part two. So without further ado, I'm not gonna do no long talking, baby. Let's get right into the video. Yo. Like the first video, I'm doing this off the top of the dome. I'm not writing anything down. We're doing it from the top of, cause, cause I'm working in a real tail store. Not a retail store, a real tail store. Real to, real to, real to store. Get y'all popcorn, get y'all little drinks or whatever, because this is gonna be. <laughs> if y'all hear something in the back, y'all already know what it is. Oh my God. Come closer. I should've wrote this down. Cause I was thinking about writing this down and I said, you know what? I already know what I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna write it down. But baby, I'm struggling. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna come back, babes. Hold on. <laughs> hey, I'm back. I wrote some stuff down. Okay, I wrote three stuff, but that's not the point. Point is I got something. <laughs> okay, anyway, so the first thing on the list of what I hate about working in retail, I hate when people buy $500 worth of stuff of the same item, then return all of them. Did you really need, did you really need to do that? So this lady came into the store, she ordered 23, no, 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 48, making stuff up. She ordered 48 pairs of chino pants. If you don't know what chino pants are, they're these like casual dressy pants. They come in like different colors. At my store, they have Fulton, Mason, and Aiden chino pants. And you can dress it up like I said, or you can dress it down. So she ordered 48 pairs of the same pants in the same size. I kid, I kid you not. Why? Why? For why? what? What are you trying to prove that you can order pants? Please explain. Because I'm trying to figure it out. Then I had to refold all those pants. Luckily, they were all the same size, so I just put them back in one section. But baby, there's no need for you to buy so much pants. Same color. There was two colors. It was black and navy blue. For what? Why? For what? What are you trying to prove you have money on your card? We get it. You're middle class. You can buy 48 pairs of pants. And these pants are $24. So let's do the math. If you buy 48 pairs of pants times $24.99, that's a that's a lie. She paid a thousand dollars. No, 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 that's not right. Or was it 28 pairs of pants? It was either 28 or 48, but it was one of the eight. And either way, it's still expensive. Too expensive for 28 or 48 pairs of pants. <sighs> Which is so annoying. Don't buy it. You don't need it. Some people be coming to the store picking up all these stuff. Y'all don't really need these stuff. Daddy, oh, I keep getting interrupted. <laughs> My dad gave me chocolate. Y'all don't really need all this stuff. It's not necessary. Save your money, invest, start a business, score a film, something. This one be killing me. Day, I was at work and this lady she had her purchase came up to one hundred and sixty six dollars to be precise one hundred sixty six dollars and sixty five cents and you know she had a coupon they sent it to her in her email so I'm like okay boom let me scan it mind you mind you my little scanner thingy wasn't working so I had to manually type it in along with her 15 items or 16 items I had to manually type in every single one of those items yeah yes so after I typed in all the items rang up the two coupons that they they told me to give after you know every transaction. I'm had to manually type those two. She said, Oh, I got a coupon. Okay, cool. You got a coupon, girl. Yeah, we're all about saving money. Get a coupon. Forgot my scanner wasn't working. Manually type the coupon in. After I manually type the coupon in now, right? Yeah, here we got connected. Okay, as I manually type, manually type the coupon, it said invalid discount code, meaning it's not working. So when it's not working, call customer service. That's what you need to do. That's not my part. I just come, block in, come to the register, type in my um credentials, and work. I'm not in charge of giving you coupons. Uh, author you coupons and you know you know so boom bam bop so this will happen I told her ma'am unfortunately something is wrong with your coupon it is invalid I don't know 
Hear her now. Well, they gave it to me this morning, so I don't know what you're talking about. I think you should scan it again. I said, ma'am, I did scan it. What do you think I'm here just, just looking at the coupon? You really think I just sit here, look at the coupon, and tell you it's not working? To print it, just. Uh -uh. So I'm like, it's not working. I scanned it already. Oh, I need a manager. People always calling for a manager like, they've gonna do something. A manager just has a title. So what are you talking about? If I can't help you, nobody can. Hello? Because I know a majority of the stuff that managers do in that store. So if I can't help you, nobody can. Boo. I should have said I was the manager. But you know what? It's fine. So we got, we got a little walkie. So I said, um, coupon. So my manager said, just honor the price of the coupon, whatever. And I just gave her $10 off. So I passed the stage of seeing all her items. I click proceed. Then it comes to the point where she has to actually pay. Did you put the $10, girl? Do you think that entire time that I was talking to my manager, you think that we was just talking about what we ate today? Stupid. People like you, I hit. I hit the pop. People like you. Get out of this stuff. It's your stupid girl. You want everything for free. Free, 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 free. Ten dollars. Just spend the ten dollars and stop. Hey. Next on the list, baby. As you guys know, I'm sure you guys know that we are in a pandemic. And what is a pandemic? Let's search it out. Pandemic definition. A pandemic of a disease prevalent over a whole country or the world. Okay. Let's look up coronavirus. Coronavirus are a large family of viruses transmitting between animals and people that cause illness ranging from the common cold to more severe diseases such as okay that's not important more of the story is that's what's going on in today's world if you are not enlightened i just enlighten you on a serious topic at large okay so i'm at the store in a pandemic working in retail right boom scam stop why are customers coming so close to me don't y'all hear six feet apart first of all don't even don't even stay six feet how about 12 feet double to six please stop coming so close to me so i'm in the store minding my business this customer comes up to me i'm here swerving my dude swerving with me i'm like bro bro i stopped swerving i'm like um can you just stay six feet apart? So you just practice social distancing, you know, for you and I's safety. Bro is just coming up to me. I'm like, whoa, whoa. I'm trying to be safe. Can you be safe? I don't care about your well-being, but I care about mine. Please stay six feet. Mine well. Mine, nah, matter of fact, 12 feet. Matter of fact, don't even come into the store because you don't need anything. Just prepare it, y'all, foolish. I don't know if I'm touching any specific points, but we just ran in at this point what I hate about retail. Um, oh my god. I hate when people try to return stuff from different stores, like all of the stores are connected. If you don't know now, you know, um, well, I'm gonna tell you. So I work at, not at Gap, but I work in Gap INC. Um, so Banana Gap, Old Navy, Athleta, Jane and Jack. We're all under one umbrella. So if you guys wanna come over and um, get a credit card, 25% off your purchase, well, 20%, yeah. 20% off your purchase, you guys can come in and get that 20%. You can't get no discount though, babes. So boom, scam Scott. My battery's about to die, but anyways. Yeah, we are all under the same umbrella, right? So this lady from Gap, I mean, this lady came in the store, wanted to return something, but the items were Gap items. So I told her, she came up to me very closely, and I backed up very fast, very quickly. I backed up expeditiously. She was like, um, excuse me, um, I ordered some stuff online, and they're Gap clothes. I'm like, we're banana. She's like, yeah, but you guys can't accept it. I'm like, we're banana. This is Banana Republic. But they sent it to me with a banana label and gap where banana you cannot return a gap to a b a n n n a n a n a n a i she's still going i said you know what makes just go just go because i'm not gonna argue with the gap with the gap customer right now just not gonna do it sorry like uh, girl you should have never ordered it it wasn't that important how about that i feel like some stuff are just so unnecessary like some people just be buying just to buy like and i, I include myself too sometimes i buy just to buy but i'm not an annoying customer like if i don't need to ask a question i don't ask questions bro i kid you not i'm about to show you an example of something stupid <laughs> stupid I'm gonna show you our tag label, everything. Just write some random numbers. This is the barcode, whatever. And then the square is gonna be the clearance sticker. All right, so here, this is a little diagram. So we have the SKU number, just in case if you know this isn't here. What is this you ask? This is the the prices. So yeah, the clearance and the regular price. This right here is the barcode. The thing that you scan if you go to his price checker, right? This is the regular price, which is $57. Of course, it's not gonna be $57. It was just gonna be 99, all right? Then this is clearance. So, we are in the clearance section. And if you see this, it's usually orange. If you see this, that means clearance. A customer will come up to me and ask, is this on clearance? 
<laughs> Are you born with four senses or five? Clarence is orange. It has three, not one, not two, but three Clarence signs in orange. And we also did you guys a favor by making the prices on the tag orange. <gasps> Are we in pre-K? Maybe. So by making this orange, it's gonna be easier for you guys to identify that that is a Clarence item. So after they ask, you know, we have like this big old sign, another diagram. I spelled Clarence wrong, guys. Clarence, yeah. The little E, the little N is right here. That's everywhere in the store. Even outside before you come into the store. It says 60% off clearance. Is it 60% off clearance? Is the sky blue or yellow? How about that? Oh my God. And then, guys, no, I have just like a whole bunch of stuff to say. Hold on. Then, outside of the store, we have two signs. One on the right, one on the left. One on the left, one on the right. 60% off everything. 60% off everything plus 60% off clearance. Now that means 60% off everything, meaning 60% off the entire store. So customers will come in and ask, is this 60% off everything? No, you're paying full price for every item you get. Some questions are to be avoided when you come to the store because while you're bothering the sales associate, you're annoying the sales associates, you're irritating the sales associate. They, we already have to do too much by getting up out of our bed early in the morning, putting on our clothes, showering if we feel like it, brushing our teeth if we feel confident about ourselves, making breakfast, eating if we're not gonna throw up or do it for ourselves because you know some of us can't eat in the morning, going in the car, taking the bus, paying the money, going through toll, all that just to come in and service you guys you guys and you guys don't even want to sign up for a credit card not saying you should ruin your credit or anything ah uh, don't get me wrong but girl you don't even want to sign up for loyalty reward points which is free just give me your phone number that's all i need from you and you don't want to sign up for that but you want me you want me to service you something not adding up because if one plus one is two and two plus two is four then why am i even working in retail i feel like this video has been long enough but um i need to i need to reach my 10 minute mark i'm gonna make a part three because next time i'm gonna actually write down some stuff like as it comes to me, I'm gonna write it down because I have so much stuff to talk about in retail, like bruh. So much stuff, so much stuff to talk about in like working in retail as a sales. So much stuff is not even like okay, not even like. Let me see. I have a customer's question me, like question me too much, like but why this? Why that? Why this? Why that? First of all, calm down. I'm not God. Do not question me. Hello, not your mom, not your dad. Don't question me. You can't even if you question your parents, you need help because I can question my parents. I know better. All these beats, all these touchy two beats, out of my head in the next 0.5 seconds. Yeah, I was at work today. Mind my own business. I said next online. You know, this lady had a whole bunch of clothes. For some reason, I have a love of ringing up a lot of items. I don't know why. I don't like ringing up one item, two items. Don't even come to the store. You come to the store to buy a sock. Are you that in need of socks? But anyways, I digress. So this lady came up to my register, you know. How are you? You know, the, the regular schmegula, you know. How are you? How's your day today? You know, whatever, whatever. Are you using a banana gap card with us? This is her. Yes, I'm using my banana card. I also have a $10 um, coupon. I was like, okay, cool. In order to get the loyalty reward points, mind you, that's free. All I have to do is type in your number so you can earn points when you shop at Gap, Old Navy, Banana, and this letter, and Jane, Jack, wherever. So those points are going to turn into reward. And when you get to 500 points, you get a $5 reward. You get to 1000 points you get a ten dollar reward so for every dollar you spend you get two points i feel like i'm at work and i'm gonna really be home i say this to say that so after i'm done you know what so after i'm done ringing up my first item because i have to scan then put in the loyalty reward phone number like her phone number i'm like okay can i get your phone number so you can get points why do i have to get points i never done that before all this time i've been coming to the store and nobody never asked for my phone number i said ma'am we just started the program and it's just to get points on your credit card and also on your loyalty so she's like i don't know what you're talking about but i never have to give my phone number so like at that time i was just like girl Come back to life Cause if I go zombie mode I'm biting her head off That's all I said I said Jesus keep me near the cross Because I was about to rip her head off Please If it wasn't for this job and the pain I would have had to slap her and hit the nay nay <laughs> So you know she's right, like every time she speaks, like I speak, then she speaks. Every time she speaks, she just goes up another volume, up another level. And I have to be nice because I don't want to get fired because if I go off on somebody, baby, you're going to have to go back under the hole that you came out of. <laughs> so I'm going to say, that's kind of disrespectful, but because since the customers want to be disrespectful to me and I have to take all their stuff, baby, yeah, I can say what I want when you leave the store. Yeah. So anyway, she started yelling at me, making a scene, all that. Like, I'm like, girl. 
it's not that serious. Just give me your phone number and stop the shenanigans. I ended up not getting her phone number. I feel like I'm a boy trying to get somebody a good number, but no, that's not the case. Like, I was just like over it. I did not talk for the rest of the transaction. Did you get a have a good day? No. Did you get a happy holidays? No. Yeah, I said what I said. Yeah. I should have never gave you coupons, but you know, I want my coupons because at the end, when I get all my coupons at the end of the year, whatever, you know, I get a little gift or whatever. I think, I hope. Because I've been working for too long, slaving for too long not to get a little present. And I'm not talking about no $5 gift card. I said what I said. Yeah. Okay, I think this is the last point. So there was this these customers. Well, there was this group. It was this mother, I guess her sister, and her son. So she just bought a pair of chino pants. By now, y'all know what chino pants are. Because if y'all don't, then go back in the video, rewatch the video. I explain what chinos mean. So she bought one pair of chinos. Cool, totally fine. $24.99. I can't give you no coupon though because you have to spend more than $30. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so we have sanitizer, you know, courtesy of Yap I and C to protect and serve our customers. We want to look out well, don't we? They want to look out for their customers by assuring them that they are keeping themselves safe while in this panoramic. So we, not we, banana supplies, I mean Yap supplies sanitizers right by the pin pad. What is a pin pad? The thing where you put your card in, swipe your card, you know, to pay for your stuff. Sanitizer, boom. The aunt now, the mother's paying. The aunt, which is the sister of the mother, I think, she pumps some sanitizer in her hand. Rub the sanitizer, you know, for a few seconds. Smells it, makes a big old scene. Oh my God, it stinks so bad. Oh my God, what is in this? Oh, it's so disgusting. Oh my God, what do you guys put in this sanitizer? Um, bring your own. <laughs> B-Y-O-S. Bring your own sanitizer. Yeah, you're going out. You're leaving your house to bring your own sanitizer. We're in a pandemic. Don't rely on people and them sanitizer. Mama, with your frizzy ear. Making a scene that's unnecessary. Then her sister was like, oh my God, don't mind her. This is the first time I take her out since the pandemic. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, right. I feel to anybody to take you Bring your own sanitizer. Walk with your own stuff. Don't rely upon banana. I make we look bad. Oh, well, you're not making me look bad, but don't do it. Don't do it. I was just looking at her like, girl. Oh my god, I'm so happy I got this mask on because girl child boo boo handy. I would have gotten in trouble so many times for my facial expression. I feel like that's gonna be the death of me. My facial expression be deadly. But yeah, she made a big scene for no reason. I'm like, girl, ah, calm down now. Ah. Walk with your own stuff. How about that? Don't rely. Like I said, don't rely on Gap I and C to supply you with sanitizer. It's not for you. Just don't use it no more. And then, oh my gosh, she pumps it again. She does a second pump. What are you addicted to the nasty, disgusting yap smell? Stupid yap. I just despise people like I. I said, I would like to say this. We're gonna retail. You have to have thick skin. Like I said before, like you can't be no softy working in retail because you come among so many different types of people. I just try my best to have great customer service because you never know who's who. You never know who can be a cash in director. You never know who could be a billionaire. Let me just be nice. Even. Are you done? Even, you know, if I don't have the best, cause automatically once you disrespect me at the register, my voice, my mood automatically changes. Like I can go from, hi, how are you doing today? Will you be using a banana or a gap card with us today? And then they get disrespectful. I'll be like, for the rest of the transaction, I'll just be quiet. I'll just be quiet. Anyways, if you guys want a part three, y'all already know what to do. Make sure you drop it in the comment section down below and give this video a big old thumbs up. It is 2021. I'm so happy that I'm, I'm, yo. This is going to be my, well, 2021, this December, it's going to be my third year on YouTube. Oh my God. And we made our goal last year by hitting 500 subscribers, so thank you guys so much, yay. And my video passed 10K as well, so thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you made it to this point, that means you made it to the end. Make sure you guys remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you will be notified anytime I to post another video. And without further ado, baby girl, this sales associate is out. Bye!